Hi, I'm Julie Morgan, fresh clean beauty expert. And we have Tatiana today. We are going to do a natural beauty look for a bride. Quick and easy. I love starting with the eyes first for a bride. And just sort of taking a sweep of a neutral soft shadow across the lid. Curling the eyelashes. Always make sure the eyelashes are dry when you curl them. I love using an ink eyeliner for a bride because it will have long wear all through the night and the pictures and any tears of joy or <laughs> and happiness. And the reason to start with the eyes first, just in case anything falls down underneath, you're not getting any of the eyeshadow or mascara or eyeliner into the skin. I like using warm, natural eyeshadows for a bride. Nothing too jewel-toned, especially for someone who's used to not wearing makeup. We don't want to take a bride too much out of her comfort zone. So doing a beautiful medium tone eyeshadow to enhance her eyes. It's also important to fill out the brow. Even if Tatiana doesn't normally fill her brow on an everyday basis, for your wedding day it looks beautiful in pictures and it just completes and frames the eye. Then taking a little brush and sweep up through the brow. This gives a little lift. You look awake, even if you haven't been getting sleep, right? <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to the skin. Tatiana usually just uses a little powder on her skin for every day. So for a wedding, we wanna even out her skin and keep it glowing. So we're using a little bit of foundation. And we wanna make sure the foundation matches her skin tone. So I always like to look at the whole body instead of just the face. I really see where the warm tones and I wanna bring them all together. Because of course when a bride is wearing her wedding dress, she's showing a lot more than she may in the office during the day. <laughs> Glowing radiance from head to toe for a bride, right? <laughs> Even out your skin. The T-zone is especially important, especially for photographs, to keep all of this area even. And around the mouth area, it makes the smile look brighter. Now to make the eyes look brighter, we add a little concealer. One of my favorite tips for a blushing bride, even if she wants to be very natural, is to use a cream blush followed by a powder blush. So we follow with the powder blush. This will help keep that rosy glow from the time of sitting in the makeup chair getting ready for the wedding all through the end of the night. So for lips, I think it's very important. Of course, every bride wants their lips to stay on as long as they can, whether they're kissing and saying hello to guests. So fill in the lip with the lip pencil entirely. So 
So once the lip is complete with lip pencil, finish with a little gloss or the lipstick of your choice. So we're finishing Tatiana's natural look with a little waterproof mascara and just wiggling and getting every little lash from the inner corner to the outer corner. And there's a few tips how to look like a natural glowing bride on your wedding day.